Welcome to an absolutely stupendous morning. We're down at a place called Punakaiki on the west coast. It's a rainforest, so it's, a re it's renowned as the wettest place in New Zealand. We've only had a bit of rain so far, we're doing really well. Really, really well. Now, unfortunately, I'm just scouring the beach here because I uh, came down to the beach to get a shot, brought a nice pot of coffee down with me, put it on the sand here, and then I got chased away by the ocean, the incoming tide. And unfortunately, I can't find my coffee, which is kind of stressing me out a little bit because it was freshly made. Uh, but it ain't here, it ain't here. And I'm figuring, even if I do find the pot, there might be absolutely jack all in it now. Anyway, like I say, I'm down at the beach, searching for my coffee, and there's another another wave coming to get me. And I tell you what, it's uh, it's coming fast as well, actually. Coming a bit too fast. Let's just get a bit of a shuffle on. Uh, yep, she's uh, she's coming in pretty thick and fast. Okay, we'll flag that coffee idea. That one's gone burger, and that's my morning exercise as well at the same time. So life's good. Life's good. And even the bloody river starting to pump now, Jesus man. And I'm really having to watch everything I do because uh, the tide's coming in this way, the river's coming down that way. It's just a bit of a mission. But I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else at this moment in time, it's absolutely glorious. So the reason for this morning's shoot is just down the beach there, we've got a sea stack. And it, against the dawn light, it looks beautiful. We're going to get a cracking little sunrise, there's not much cloud about. But what bit of cloud there is, is behind me. And it's just going to make some nice lead clouds. It's going to be quite stunning. Got back to the campsite last night and it was crystal clear night. Beautiful out there. The moon hadn't risen, so obviously no moon, dark skies. Out came the Nikon D3S, the Samyang 14mm 2.8 lens. Shoot a bit of Astro. Two big cliff faces behind me there. And the Milky Way, where my fat head is there between the two. <laughs> it's not that fat head, it's just the camera adds a few kilos. A lot of kilos, a lot of cameras on me. I got the Milky Way between the two. Actually got to see the galactic core last night for the first time this season. And it, oh man, that made a few, few really, really nice photographs. Loving it. This morning shot, real easy, real simple. Fuji X100F, 0.9 soft grad, just on the edge to bring the sky down a little bit. ISO 100, one and a half seconds at F11. And it's looking pretty nice. I've been cracking a few shots off all morning. I'm just seeing what they look like. And that is beautiful. Some really, really nice, uh, nice detail in those clouds at the moment. I'm going to give it until sunrise. And somewhere out there is my beautiful cup of flat white. I'm not happy. I'm not happy about that. So I'm thinking that's that. We're on sunrise. That cloud on the horizon's thicker than I thought and the sun's not coming through at the minute. It is going to get through, obviously. Pre-dawn light are my favourite shots. They're looking really sweet. I'll put some on here, guys. So that, that's it. This morning shoot is done and dusted. A real quick, easy one. And the only casualty was a pot of flat white. So now I've got to go make another one. But apart from that, life's pretty good, you know. What can you do? You're out here shooting, out here on the edge of the world, shooting in beautiful landscapes like this, getting very little sleep because obviously you want to be... Uh, you want to be out most of the night shooting astro and then you want to be up at dawn grab a few hours kip get up at dawn and shoot a beautiful beautiful dawn light over the ocean um, and life really doesn't get much better than this guys it really doesn't all right so for now from the stunning stunning wild gloriously beautiful west coast of new zealand until next time guys catch your tail on This kit has been really, really well looked after. Somebody, for a long, long time, treasured this kit. Oh, shite. 